Madison Southside Center. Recently, South Madison residents concluded a month of festivities celebrating the opening of the new neighborhood center. The sparkling new facility, described by some as a dream come true center, replaces the old one destroyed by fire in 1979. To appreciate the significance of what this new center represents, let's take a look back. The Southside Center has been a gathering place for minorities and others since 1950. It began when a barracks building left over from World War II was trucked over from Truax Field and laid on a foundation built by area residents. These barracks were still in use in 1969 when the Rennebaum family provided the funds to build a brick gym nearby. In 1979, the building was destroyed by fire. With the efforts of former Mayor Soglin, South Madison residents, and others, a new center was built. I asked Center Director Marilyn Coleman, what does this new facility mean? Well, the community center in South Madison has played an important part in the lives of the people that live here for about 30 years now. Um, we had a fire about two years ago, and this new facility, I think, is looked at as almost a rebirth of the feelings in the community. Um, what we try to do out of the community center is help people take control over their lives, and we view the center as a focal point, a place where people can come and develop their own interests, a place for enrichment of all kinds. Um, what types of activities and, and programs will we be offering in this new facility? Okay, we're going to be offering a, a wide range of programs for all ages, from youth to senior citizens in the areas of education, uh, recreation, and leisure. We're working on health uh, services and legal services, as well as many cultural events that we hope to have out of the center. Have you seen participation pick up over those years, really improve, and a different group of people take part uh, in, this, in Southside activities? Yeah, the population of South Madison is ch has changed over the period of the Neighborhood Center's existence, actually. Now we have, um, well, we have the largest minority population in the city. Um, by far, we have the largest black population, and we're also getting a large group of Vietnamese and low Asian and um, Hispanics are in the neighborhood. So we have seen a change of the people that have taken part in the neighborhood center over the years. Um, during the, the period when we didn't have a neighborhood center, participation slacked off a bit. And that's why it's so important that the new center um, is completed now because people are ready to become active again.